Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a double side braid. So the first thing that I do is I make sure my hair is parted. When I part my hair, I always part it so there's more hair on my right side and less hair on my left side. So I already have it parted. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section of my hair on the left side. Just like that. You want to make sure your hair is brushed through before you start this. And then I'm going to start this in a regular braid. So I section my hair off into three different sections. And then I just start braiding my hair. Just keep going. It took me forever to figure out what this braid was called. I learned how to do it probably like a year ago or so. And ever since, it's always my braid that I always do when I'm in a hurry or when I want something different. I'll usually do this after I get out of the shower when my hair is still wet because I don't really like putting a lot of product in my hair. And it just works well. So just continue to braid your hair all the way down. This is the braid that every time that I wear it, people are like, you look like Elsa. So I love it. It's usually little kids that will tell me. But after it's all finished, I can see why they say that. It's different than the Elsa braid, but I still like it. So then some of my hair is uneven because I have layers in my hair. So I'll go to about right here. So I have about this much hair left. And then I put a elastic rubber band in it. I try not to use a hair tie when I do this side of the braid just because the hair ties are a lot thicker than these rubber bands. Okay, so then I'll pull the rubber band down a little bit. So as you can see, I have one braid done. So the next thing that I do is I'm gonna make this loose. So by doing that is I pull each parts of the braid apart. I'm gonna go all the way down. And when I get to the bottom, I'll pull the elastic down a little bit more so it's not all bunched up. And then I will do it one more time. I want this usually to look messy. So when I pull it apart to make it look loose, it will turn out more messier. So just like that. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my hair and I'm going to put it to the side that I want the braid on. So I always put my braids on the right side of my body. If you want to do the left side, that's okay. It's just what I prefer and it's whatever you would prefer to do. Okay, so just make sure you have this braid still on. Your left side and then what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna start braiding this normally my hair is kind of thicker so I have a lot of it so with this now I will take some bangs out because I always feel weird if I don't have bangs take a little bit of bangs out so all my hair bunched together, 
And then I'm just gonna go down and do a normal braid. So with this, section your hair into three different sections again. So it's just like the braid that you did before, only you have a lot more hair this time. Okay, so I have three different sections and I will continue to do this braid. After you get the hang of this, um, you'll kind of get used to it and go through it pretty fast. It's actually super simple to do it too. When I learned how to do it, I was like, I thought this seemed like it was so much more difficult. And then I taught myself and I love this one. But then I love doing braids and I love wearing braids. Go all the way down. To the very bottom. Okay. So I'll go to about right here. So I have about this much hair left. And then I'm going to put an elastic rubber band in on this side as well. You want you can use a hair tie for this side but like I said I always like to use um, the elastics because I don't really like using the rubber bands or the hair ties I should say okay so just like that you can pull down the elastic a little bit and then I'm going to make this braid look loose so to do that what you're gonna do again is you're gonna pull parts of the braid. Try not to pull too hard because you don't want the braid to come out. And then you can move the elastic band down a little bit more. And then do it one more time. Just like that. So now it looks messy. Okay, just like that. And like I said, it doesn't matter how much hair you have left, you can keep braiding it all the way to the very bottom, but I don't usually ever braid mine to the very end of my hair. Okay, so now I have a little braid and I have a big braid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this braid and I'm gonna bring it over to my other side where the other braid is. So what you're gonna do is I'll show you. I want it to be kind of connect right here. So you're gonna take a couple bobby pins and you're gonna bobby pin the hair kind of connect it to the other braid, so I connect it right here. I put two of them in just to kind of hold my hair in place. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band out of the small braid. That's why I said that it's usually easier if you use a smaller rubber band. You don't want people to see it. Okay, so I take that out. I'm going to put a few more bobby pins in. Yeah, put a few more bobby pins in. So I don't want this to fall out. You can put as many bobby pins in as you want. I try to kind of keep it a low amount. Oops. 
One more. Okay. So now you can see that you kind of have a little bit of hair from the other braid. So what I do with this is I try to hide it in my thick braid. So with that, I will put it in each individual section and kind of just make it look like it's part of your other braid. So a little bit of it came out right here. So then I'll put it, that part back in. <clears throat> and then I do that until I can't see it anymore. Sometimes I'll also just kind of bobby pin it further in my hair, but if you hide it in the braid, it's easier and nobody can really tell. Okay. So now I have bangs out and I have my full braid. So here's the back. like that so I want to thank you for watching this video I do want you to give it a big thumbs up and I want you to go like my social media